Coming up on today's edition of Inside Leesburg, international baseball comes to our hometown next on Inside Leesburg. Hi, I'm Robert Sargent. Welcome to this special edition of Inside Leesburg. Pat Thomas Stadium in Buddy Low Field in Leesburg has a cherished history for amateur and professional baseball dating back to 1937. The popular facility hosted legends like Hank Aaron, Cal Ripken, and Pete Rose. Even today, some of the country's best high school and college players come to Leesburg to set their marks on the major leagues. Joining me is local attorney Chuck Johnson, who has a big part in supporting this great park, and he will share his thoughts about the location, our local team, the Leesburg Lightning, and two exciting games this weekend between the Florida Collegiate Summer League and the Korean National Collegiate Team. Chuck, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Rob. Okay, let's start off with this weekend. The Korean uh, team is here in town to play uh, the best college players that we have in America in the Florida Collegiate Summer League. What is this opportunity like for you? We've been a baseball community for a long time. It, uh, we've had state championships, we have the Leesburg Lightning, we've won the Collegiate Florida League twice. But having an international team like the college Korean All-Stars come to Leesburg, Florida, is validation that Leesburg is a great place to live and a great place to play baseball. Now, as far as this opportunity, Leesburg has been playing baseball back since 1937. Long history, we've had professional, we've had amateur. But as far as having uh, the opportunity to host an international team, Obviously, we've had players of all types, but having an international team, what kind of exposure can that provide for Leesburg? Only good. <laughs> the, uh, the college uh, kids from Korea coming over here. When I originally heard about this, I thought they were coming to America to play baseball. I was wrong. They're coming to Leesburg, Florida, and the Florida, Florida Collegiate Summer League to play baseball. And for them to make that decision, where they could have went anywhere in the world to play, but they chose to come here, that's a great thing for our community and, and we're going to show them a real good time. Now obviously baseball is a great American pastime but in Asia they love it just as much as we do and they seem to eat up baseball. How do you think these two teams may match up since they do not know each other? We've had the opportunity to watch them twice already. They're very good, they're very competitive. They came here to play baseball not to go to Disney World. They're, uh, they have good pitching. They, uh, they throw un incredible breaking balls. They're just mm -hmm. uh, a complete ball club. They can hit, they can run. Mm -hmm. and they can play. Now you are basically a professor of the American baseball and game and uh, the players, uh, college players, high school players and stuff. Is it different to see how they approach the game? They're intense more than anything. We're a little more than we are. Uh, that's not to say that we're not intense, but they come, they step on the field, but they step between the white lines. They have one goal in mind, win and win as fairly as they can. We have the same goal, but we're we have a lot more fun than they do, I think. Now, uh, a lot of folks would be, would be nervous about this opportunity, but I know you and I know how proud you are of our players that you put them up against anybody. Uh, on our group uh, team that we have for America, you've got three Leesburg Lightning players in there. What's that like for being a member of the Leesburg Lightning and seeing that uh, representation? Having Leesburg Lightning on the team is, um, makes us proud. Igor Baez, our catcher, He's got a cannon for an arm. Nobody runs on him. Walker Burgess, he's six foot four and 230 pounds. And he throws a fastball that uh, way into the 90s. So our kids can play too. And, and our, having our Leesburg Lightning players play in front of our crowd while the Korean National College team is here, that's just one more good thing that we do better than anybody else when it comes to playing baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, and now what about, this is a series of games being played around Central Florida. Leesburg's hosting two of those. Um, we've seen in the two previous games that the, the Korean team is holding up very, very well uh, against our folks. Is there any give and take? Do, any, do you expect either one of these teams to give any quarter to the other, or are they just out to win? Once again, they step between the white lines. They could be the best of friends. Uh, but they're going to win. They're going to try to win both teams. So there, there, there's, no, there's no quarter given, no, nor should there be. This is uh, a competitive sport, and both teams want the best from the other team. Uh -huh. They traveled uh, 
about 6,000 miles to be here to play baseball against our kids. They're not looking for us to lay down, and we're not looking for them to lay down. Now, through your hard work, the Leesburg Lightning, uh, you work very closely with the Florida Collegiate Summer League, that Leesburg enjoys the highest attendance in the league. Nobody gets close. Uh, for these games, do you hope to get that kind of crowd to, uh, for an international team playing the Collegiate Summer League that's not Lightning? We absolutely expect our Lightning fans to come out in mass and support this. This is a Lightning event um, in conjunction with America's hometown, Leesburg, Florida, because we couldn't do it without the city of Leesburg, nor would we want to. And the fans will be packed full of Lightning players as long as the good Lord don't rain this one out. Now the Florida Collegiate Summer League is overcoming some language barrier to coordinate these games and stuff, but you being the voice of the Leesburg Lightning, you got a special role of having to call this one tonight. Do you have any concerns about calling the, the game with international players and pronunciations and such? I can't get the American kids' names right. <laughs> I don't have a chance on getting the other ones right. I've made more parents and more mamas mad about getting their names wrong. <laughs> but they know that they know I do the best I can, and, and we'll do the best we can tonight. And um, and they know the language barrier is tough, but they know the baseballs is beyond the language barriers. They step on the field, they grip the baseball the same way we do. They run the same way, do they hit the same way we do? Mm -hmm. uh, and so baseball will take care of itself. They're not going to pay any attention to me. They yeah. came to play. Good deal. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts of these games. Uh, Pat Thomas Stadium, Buddy Lowe Field, right here in Leesburg, uh, uh, off of Dixie Avenue. Could you tell me when the games are being played? First game's at Friday at 6 o'clock at Pat Thomas Stadium, Buddy Lowe Field. Promptly at 6, we're going to get started. We're going to play the second game at 5 o'clock on Sunday, August the 10th. Expect a big crowd then. Uh, we'll play a little early on Sunday to make sure everybody gets home uh, in time to go to work on Monday, but the two game set's going to be great. A uh, key thing to this as well, uh, free admission? Always free admission. <laughs> and that is the best value in sports. I know I've heard you say that a hundred times over. <laughs> it really is. You can come to the Pat Thomas Stadium Bolo Field, you can watch a great baseball game. You can bring your family of four, of four or five, enjoy quite possibly America's finest ballpark food in America's hometown for four or five dollars. You can't do that anywhere else in the world, have this kind of ent entertainment. There's no alcohol there, there's no trouble there. It's just great, wholesome family entertainment, something that makes you proud to be at Leesburg. And now, Chuck, you know the stadium. You're basically the professor of baseball when it comes to Leesburg. Uh, for those who have never attended a Leesburg Lightning game, it's something definitely we would encourage because it is an experience to be there in the stands and hear the cheering and stuff like that that goes on and to enjoy the, the quite possibly the best baseball food in America <laughs> as well. Uh, for someone who has not been there, what would you say to encourage them to come out to these games and support our local players? I'd say give us one night. Give us a try. Admissions free. Bring your, bring your friends. Bring a bunch of folks. Sit in and stand. And just for a few minutes tonight, you can forget about health care and gasoline and the war. You can sit back and you can watch America's pastime being played in America's hometown with American kids. And this weekend, with our international friends, the Korean college kids. And it'll be the best night you ever spent. It was just, it's a great place to spend an evening. Chuck, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for the enthusiasm and everything you do for Leesburg and for the Lightning in our community. Really do appreciate us. Appreciate the opportunity also as well in hosting the, the Korean team. Thank you for joining us today. I do appreciate it. It's our pleasure. Thank you. When we come back, we'll be at Pat Thomas Stadium with Bob Peters, host of Lakefront TV's Salute program. He'll be interviewing the Korean War veterans about the impact on the veterans community of having a game here. Welcome back to Inside Leesburg. We're taking a close look at the international baseball games taking place between the Florida Collegiate Summer League and a team of Korean players here in our hometown. The local Korean War veterans also are involved with this weekend's games. For that, here's Bob Peters, an Air Force veteran and host of Lakefront TV show Salute. Thanks, Rob. I'm sitting here in the bleachers at the stadium, and behind me are all members, some of the members, I should say, of the Korean War veterans and uh, Korean service veterans, Chapter 169 here in Leesburg. Uh, to my right over here is my good friend Tom Teal. Tom, you were on the committee that uh, helped put this together. It was a tremendous experience. I really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, Jen and, and Chuck, uh, Jen with the city and Chuck with the law firm, did a tremendous job and everybody else did a tremendous job. It's really been a pleasant experience. Well, I'm honored to be sitting in, in, in front of a whole bunch of uh, heroes behind me and I've uh, got some of them here, not only Korea, Vietnam and World War II and my friend Jim back there, but uh, 
you were 60 some odd years ago, you were dodging bullets and now you're going to be uh, watching baseball and hopefully they're not going to come at you. Uh, what's your reaction to uh, being here today? Well, baseball, dodging baseball is a lot more pleasant than dodging bullets. Uh, it's, it's really a tremendous pleasure for me to be here, to be a part of this experience, to welcome a South Korean team uh, here and our, and our own team to play. It's very interesting that without those events of all these guys went through 60 some years ago, this probably wouldn't have happened, Bob. So I'm really, it's really great to be here. Well, I thank you for your service. I know uh, South Korea does, and all these guys. And on my other side over here is Joel Briggs. Joel, you are the color guard, or honor guard commander, right? Yes, color guard commander. Color guard commander, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's your reaction to being here and doing this? Uh, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted, really. This is something that it's an honor for me to come out to and uh, to meet again. See, I've already talked to a few of the Korean players, and uh, it was an honor to be selected as a color guard commander to start with, and that's been a couple of years now. And I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And the people I get to work with is so pleasant to work with. And, and we, we've we done a lot of these uh, color guard things. So. If you look at Jim Corbin, if you look at his hat, Jim was uh, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Uh, Jim, what's your reaction to being here? I think it's wonderful that we can have those people here. Because when we went through that country the first time, there was nothing standing, but the, we were over there on a visit, and it is beautiful. They have done wonders in that country, and we should be proud of it. You're going to have a little meet and greet, uh, but not today. That's going to be. You're looking forward to that, I, I would imagine. I mean, you know. Uh, these young people that you're going to be meeting are probably grandkids of some of the people that you fought with. That's a good possibility, I suppose. At least uh, some of the Koreans that will come, Korean Americans, who will come here today, or today and Sunday. Yes, we're going to have a meet and greet. Uh, I think Sunday afternoon before the game, and I'm looking forward to meeting the players firsthand that way. Um, and then we're going to have the same thing over on Sunday night. So, Yeah, it's going to be quite an event down here. We're going to have uh, some members from the Korean community, from Ocala, the villages and surrounding areas. Uh, the, the veterans are going to meet the teams, both teams. We're looking forward to the game, aren't we, guys? Yeah. All right. So let's, let's play some ball. And back to you, Rob. Thanks for that report, Bob. When we come back, we have a very special guest with more on the international baseball games playing right here in Leesburg. Welcome back to this edition of Inside Leesburg. We're taking an inside look at the international baseball games taking place right here in our hometown. Joining me now are Rob Seitz, president of the Florida Collegiate Summer League. Welcome. Thank you. With him is Yon Su Yon Lee, a head coach for the Korean team, and interpreter Don Shin. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Rob, let's start off a little bit about the, the game and talking about it from the league's perspective, if I could. Leesburg is hosting the, uh, two of the games in a series from around Central Florida. Uh, uh, how did this get started? Well, they, they actually reached out to us about coming uh, to the States to, to play against us, and uh, we reached out to Major League Baseball to talk to them since they partially fund the league and see if that would be a good fit and something they would be interested in us doing, and they gave us the green light for it, so we uh, made it happen, um, and it's been a great series with them. It's really great exposure for our players for the international baseball um, and a great experience for them coming to the States to play as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, the Florida Collegiate Summer League every year brings together some of the best college players from around the country, and we, as a host of Leesburg Lightning, are accustomed to seeing that, that, that level of play. Uh, what is it like when you first thought about that, about having some of the best collegiate players from Korea coming over and having a team that uh, ha plays their own style and might have a whole different approach to the game? Uh, what was your initial thought? 
worried that they, uh, they, they've got a very talented team. Uh, we've had over 275 players drafted. We've had 10 players make it to the big leagues. Um, but still worried. You never, you never know how you're going to match up against the best players from uh, Korea um, coming over here. And it's been tremendous baseball. I mean, the, the, the level of play on both teams has been tremendous in the first two games. Their starting pitcher the, uh, the first night was probably the best pitcher that we've seen um, all season long. Just did a, a tremendous job. So it's been a very good baseball. The fans are in for a treat tonight in Leesburg. Now, obviously, the intent of the games is to bring players together and giving them experience as they're working towards their goals, if it's the majors and such. But aside from the play itself, uh, what does this do for attention and bring in some spotlight to Central Florida and hosting these games? Well, we're, we're very fortunate here in Central Florida to be one of the tourist capitals of the world. Um, but it, for our players and our communities that host our teams as well, it, do, it brings the international spotlight because every single game um, um, is being they're, they're being written about over in Korea as well. Um, every community has done a luncheon for the team when they're here as well. That's being uh, publicized across the nation um, and internationally. So it's uh, it's been a tremendous uh, event for us, and uh, we want to continue to do it. Now, um, Central Florida, Orlando, obviously is known internationally for tourism and theme parks and such, and we do actually get a lot of international notoriety from our professional sports teams. But on the amateur level, when you're bringing in high school, college play and stuff. Uh, does this help in that aspect is bringing a little bit of attention to that level of sports? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, for all of our players in the, in the Florida League that got the opportunity to play in this series, they're getting a lot of exposure. Um, for the scouts that cover our league, they're able to, to match them up against international competition um, and the best from Korea and the best from the Florida League playing against each other. Um, they're able to see them play that way and, and the exposure for, for all of them is great. Uh, Coach Lee and Translation 3 Don, thank you very much. Um, where do the players from the Korean team come from? Do they represent various schools? Can you tell me where do they come from? Korean 13개 팀 선수 중에서 가장 우수한 선수로 선발되어 온 팀입니다. Now there are about 33 universities that are in the league and uh, we select the uh, all-star players uh, from the 13 uh, teams out here to the uh, uh, Florida actually. Wow, that, that's quite a bit. Now, do many of your players uh, then move on to professional levels beyond mm -hmm. beyond this 선수들이 여기 이후로 또 많이 그 프로리그로도 많이 가는 이제 그렇습니다. 저희 한국은 음, 이번 달 8월 25일 경에 프로 드래프트가 있는데 이주 여기 온 선수 중에서 어, 대부분 선수들이 프로에 있다 날 예정입니다. Um, yes, uh, about 70 or 80% of the players that came to the States uh, are actually being drafted to the uh, pro professional teams. And as a matter of fact, the, uh, uh, it's August 25th that we're doing the uh, uh, draft. Really? Yes. Wow, congratulations. Um, now, for those who don't know, uh, obviously here in America, uh, we uh, have a love for baseball. It's our American pastime, but in Asia and in Korea, uh, you guys also share that passion. Could you tell us a little bit about the fondness that you have for baseball? Sure. 한국에서는 이제 야구가 얼마만큼 인기가 있고 얼마만큼 관중이 있고 그런지 좀 미국에서는 굉장히 유명한 스포츠인데. 역시 한국은 마찬가지로 지금 저희 한국에서 제일 인기 있는 스포츠가 프로 야구입니다. 어, 프로야구 가장 인기 있는 스포츠고 대학 야구도 관심이 많은 편입니다. Um, of course, uh, the baseball is uh, probably the most popular sports in Korea as well. Um, we have uh, all the game nights, you know, the, the stadiums all packed up with the, the spectators and the fans, and uh, also uh, we have we bring a lot of fans to the game for the uh, collision uh, games as well. Yeah, uh, Don, uh, just for your experience with the game stuff, uh, do you, you got everything from cheerleaders to fans. Uh, you even have robotic fans in some fans. Uh, you, you, I guess the, the fondness from the fans, you have a lot of fan support for the games? Uh, especially in the collision games or the? 
Yes, absolutely. And uh, it's been just a tremendous ex uh, experience, actually, to have those crowd, you know, cheer up and kind of root for their teams and whatnot. And, and we've been just uh, fortunate to have those. Yeah. Well, uh, Coach, could you tell me a little bit about uh, your visit? Uh, you've had a couple of games now, uh, and you've had a chance to feel out the players a little bit. But what has it been like to see the American players play and have your team meet with us and play? What has that been like? 여기까지 오셔가지고 이제 경기도 해보시고 상대팀 선수들이랑 이제 인터랙션도 해보시고 예, 감독님이랑 했는 그런 경험이 어떠셨는지. 음, 음, 첫째는 그 야구 항정적으로 굉장히 부러웠고 구장 시설이나 여러 가지 편인 시설 그런 부분들이 어, 한국에서는 또 다르게 굉장히 이렇게 부러워 보였고 또 선수들은 역시 그 기본적인 어떤 플레이 기분이 굉장히 잘돼 있다는 것을 느꼈었고 우리 선수들도 그런 공감하는 듯합니다. 그 나무 기간 동안에 더 어떤 높은 레벨의 야구 수준을 어, 배워갈 예정입니다. Uh, first of all, he's uh, really grateful that uh, how uh, how much we're welcoming uh, that you guys have shown us, and uh, uh, you know we really embrace this uh, opportunity to uh, meet with the, the team like this. And uh, um, you know his first impression to the states uh, were that uh, that you know it's got a lot of facilities um, that they can use, uh, unlike Korea with the limited uh, uh, usage time, I guess. Uh, so it was very uh, fortunate uh, for you guys as well. And uh, um, you guys carried the higher level of play, and so we like to learn as much as possible. And uh, obviously the players here are very strong in their basics uh, that they've been you know they they he could tell that they've been playing for a long time so those are basics and the the, the next um, techniques and that they use uh, there are a lot of uh, stuff that he can run from and he's excited well, uh, let me follow up with that question kind of along the same lines uh, not knowing what the game play would be like with the Americans uh, would, did the coach have any concerns of how these two teams would match up mm. Uh, mm. Uh, 팀 코치로서 한두 번을 참가했는데 그때는 전미 선발 팀이 아주 굉장히 강하다는 어떤 느낌을 받았는데 역시 올랜도 선발 팀도 강하다는 느낌을 받았습니다. 그런데 또 한편으로는 두 게임을 했지 않습니까? 두 게임을 비록 졌지만은 어, 우리가 대등한 경기를 펼쳐가지고 어, 우리 한국 야구 순도 많이 높아졌구나 하는 것을 느꼈습니다. Uh, a long time ago, actually, he visited the uh, uh, United States uh, for the uh, collision um, tournaments, and at the time, it was uh, uh, USA All Stars versus uh, Korea All Stars, and uh, uh, we got killed uh, <laughs> at the really? time. Uh, oh. So before he, uh, before coming over here again, he was somewhat worried and concerned about the level of the play and whatnot, and uh, um, as he. Uh, thought you know um, the Florida League had a really good team and and, and uh, you know, they respect that. Um, but this time uh, uh, they think that the uh, team career is a little bit more prepared and uh, because the star players like Yu and uh, Shin Su Chu, those uh, players uh, who are playing on the uh, major leagues, um, I guess uh, their level of players are finally a little catching up. So they got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, ways to go. But uh, uh, he's uh, excited. Well, I can say from interviewing the folks on our side that the, there was an equal level of concern because of the great baseball that you play and not knowing how the matchups would be and the outstanding players that you have. So it, we've been equally concerned about how that would work out. Before we wrap it up, Rob, uh, is there any chance we could possibly do this again? We would love to. This has been a great experience in the, in the first two games in the first three days that they've been here. Um, and they actually invited us next year to go to Korea. Um, so it, we would love to do it. It's just a financial thing of whether we can make it work or not. So we're going to talk about that and uh, see if we can make this happen and, and bring all the uh, guys from the Florida League to Korea next year. Excellent. Uh, Don, could you please ask the coach uh, how he would feel about continuing this in the coming years or so? 네, 다시 또 이렇게 하고 이러는 부분에 대해서 네. 네, 계속 지속적으로 하실 수 있는지 어떻게 생각을 하시는지. 음, 저 개인적으로나 우리 선수들은 그런 부분을 많이 원하고 있고요. 
어, 역시 동양야구하고 이게 미국야구 약간 차이가 있으니까 음. 우리가 대학교 때 이런 부분을 빨리 접하면은 어, 지금 LA에 있는 유현진 선수나 그 추신 선수 같은 메이저리그 선수들이 많이 배출되지 않을까 그런 생각이 듭니다. 음. 네. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, because of the distance, it was kind of hard to pull well, rather than having an international match with the Taiwan or China or Japan. However, once we're here and experience uh, and participate in this tournament, I would love to continue to do so. Um, and uh, as we have more experiences and, and having more international matches and whatnot, we'll probably have more Korean players playing on the major league as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and thank you for watching this edition of Inside Leesburg. Remember to come out to Pat Thomas Stadium and catch a great baseball game. We'll see you next time. Stripes and bright stars.